So the next muscle up is the extensor digitorum. Its origination point is off the lateral epicondyle, running all the way down to the extensor expansion hood of digits two through five. Its main action is gonna be extension of the fingers, where he comes all the way up just like that. But notice, because of where this inserts, if he brings his hand up and just brings it forward a little bit for me, if you flex all the way down all your fingers, when you go to extend, they actually, all these joints extend as one. You can't just do one independent of the other because of the insertion point across the whole posterior part of the finger here. So again, to test that muscle, we're gonna bring his wrist and his fingers right back. And again, we know it does a bit of wrist extension, so I can check it this way. And then we also can check each finger independently. Bring me uh, into neutral here, hand forward a little bit, good. And then hold the finger straight, nice and strong. And then you can again check each finger separately. Good. Good. And again, you just wiggle your fingers, you'll be able to see all the tendons of extensor digitorum feeding in to each one of his fingers there. Common errors people make is that this muscle is called extensor digitorum, not to be confused with extensor digitorum longus, which is actually a muscle of the leg, and it does similar actions in the toes, but extensor digitorum is just the muscle of the posterior forearm here going into the fingers.